So now that you've got your piece of paper with your login information, and you've clicked on the link to sign into Aventis World, uh, put in your username and then type the password the way that it's on the piece of paper. And then click on I'm not a robot to let it know you're human. Once you log in, here's your dashboard with all the lands you can visit. Now, feel free to visit any of these lands uh, at home to learn more. And if you have um, like Google Cardboard and you can put a smartphone in there, you can actually do it in, in complete virtual reality, 360 degrees. Or if you have an Oculus headset, you can visit this website through your Oculus browser and be completely 360 degrees in any of these lands. But for today, you're going to go into super science land, but not through here. You actually have to go to lands, click on super science land, and then I'll show you where we're going to start off. So there's a whole bunch of zones that we will uh, get to explore this year, but we're going to start with the topic we're currently studying, which is the immune system. So you're going to click on humans and anatomy and click on immunity and response. It will take you to immunity and response. Now, it's important that you read because this is what you need to know so that when you go into the virtual reality experience, uh, you know what you're looking at and you know what to look for. So for example, it'll give you a mission objective and then it'll tell you the properties of these cells. Um, so you're looking at these two types of cells which are both white blood cells. Seems like your immune system has a series of white blood cells to help you fight off uh, foreign objects and pathogens. Uh, so once you read it, you've got your task. Enter the scene and observe the white blood cells in action. Try to identify which cells are phagocytes and lymphocytes. What clues are there to tell the difference? How can you tell which is a phagocyte and which is a lymphocyte? They do look quite similar, but their activity should give it away. And if you read up here, you can see that the phagocytes, their job is to engulf pathogens and destroy them once they have been engulfed. And it says engulf is not eating. I know I like to say consume because it literally destroys it. Lymphocytes, the second type of white blood cell, are larger than red blood cells, and they work, they work slightly differently. Uh, they won't attack pathogens directly, but remember, they're the ones who produce the things we learned about. Antibodies that will target the pathogen. And remember, antibodies are the Y-shaped proteins that will attach to the virus or bacteria. So when you click on Enter Scene, notice it has a little uh, VR image. This little ma uh, image right there means you can do it on a computer, you can do this on a phone, but if you do it on a device that allows you to go in uh, to completely virtual reality, then you're seeing all this by turning your head, not by clicking and dragging the mouse. The white dot is where your cursor's pointed, and you click and drag. And uh, I'm using the W-A-D-S keys to move forward, backward, and to see what's going on. So once you're in here and you can see what's going on, observe. I see the Y-shaped proteins we know as antibodies and there's something, oh, there was an explosion. What just happened? Oh, and look at them. They're going after it. Oh, where'd it go? I, 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 I don't know where they went. Oh, look at those. That looks like a virus. And look, different antibodies. Whoa, they're, they're gone. What is happening? So you get the picture. Um, once you finish that, you're going to go back here and move on to number two. If you write the answers in your notebooks, then you'll be able to keep track of what you are doing. And then you'll read the next part. It'll tell you what to do. You'll have your task. Enter the scene. So yeah, you'll have to enter each scene separately because they're a little different. All right, so we're going to start with this immune system one.
you'll do the third one. So yeah, you've got three tasks, and then when you're done, you'll take the quiz, and that's how you can show me that you learned what you needed to learn. And there you go. All right, good luck.